Hey guys, what's going on? This is LifeX and in this video, we're going to be talking about how you can get a free mic for your Android device, okay? And I'm going to show you today how you can get the free mic for your Android device. So, we're basically using a mic for uh, Android to get a free mic. So, if you guys are a person like me that you have no access to the, uh, you know, Amazon and get some mic, so this video is going to be really good for you and it's going to help you out, okay? So, um, or if you guys have no money or no budget to buy the mic, then you should definitely try this out because it's really good at all, okay? So, uh, let's go ahead and dive to this video right now. So, um, you want to go to your Play Store first. As you guys can see over here on the screen mirroring right now from the AirDroid. So, you want to go to Play Store. Okay, let me full screen if you guys have not saying. And you want to go uh, here and type on Umai, just like that. And you want to install this one, okay? So this is the Umai. So just install this, it's completely free. And you just want to open it out. So as you guys can see that, it works with the USB, Bluetooth, and Wi-Fi. I, I just highly recommend you guys to use the USB uh, more than Bluetooth and Wi-Fi because it do work flawless, okay? So once you are happy with this, uh, you have installed it then you want to also install umic on your computer so just go to this website it's uh, wirelessorange.com forward slash umic install dot stm okay and you want to install for your computer if you guys are using the if you guys are using the mac then you guys can go for the mac from here and if you guys are on you know pc then you guys can uh, download this one okay and also make sure that you guys need to download the driver for umic on your computer and also you need to download the driver for your mobile device i mean a adv driver for your android okay because without the adv driver you guys can't uh, use the usb mic on your computer as android okay so uh, you must do that so just download this too and install this board of them on your computer and after you have installed this then you want to launch your umic so you have launched your umic and i have already been connected from the usb right now as you guys can see it's showing the connected so i'm connected to the usb okay so as you guys can see um okay i'm just stopped right now so it will prompt this um box if you have press on stop so i'm in this one okay so i need to start again so let me connect and know so you want to go to setting first and you want to choose a transport type as a usb not uh bluetooth or wi-fi so if you guys are doing the voiceover then you guys can choose the bluetooth or wi-fi but uh for the wi-fi user you must be on the same network okay so make sure you are being connected your laptop is being connected with the same wi-fi network and also your android is being connected on your same wi-fi network so just to the end and go back and tap on start and you want to place this ip over your umic box over here connect that and choose the wi-fi and you want to place this IP over here okay so mine has been same if you try to connect it will connect so now so right now it's been connected to the Wi-Fi so if I try to play an audacity or record an audacity it should work and also make sure that you have choose the uh, microphone as your mic so let me test as the uh, you know mic <laughs> on audacity so hi this is a test of the Wi-Fi on your mic so as you guys can see this recur let's play that hi this is a test of the wi-fi on your mic but uh, sometime if you gonna be using the wi-fi it's sometimes getting your trouble because it may produce robotic sound you know what i mean is a robotic sound and you don't even notice that so i just definitely don't recommend you to use wi-fi or bluetooth so just go ahead and stop that Okay, so you want to go to your home menu and you want to navigate to your setting. So I just bring the setting over here. Let's go to your setting and you want to uh, enable your, you know, developer option because we need to enable a uh, USB debugging to get the UMAC access from your computer. So just go to about if you have no developer option right now, just go to about and you want to tap on the build number seven times until it say uh, developer. Okay, so as you guys can see that I'm already 
I'm already being a developer right now, so I just don't need to do that. And also make sure that you have remember your model number, okay? So um, if we wanna use this model number to get your ADB driver later. So once you are the developer, then you guys can go back and you wanna go to developer option and make sure that USB debugging is turned on, okay? To make it make it work, you need to do this because ADB access uh, USB debugging. So make sure the developer option is turned on and also the debugging is turned on. And you guys can go back to your mic and just go to setting. Make sure you have connected your USB. As you guys can see, I just connected the USB. No, as you guys can see that I have already been connected uh, USB. So make sure your transport type is USB right now. As you guys can see, so uh, go back to your mic and you wanna connect then yes click on yes and just choose there a USB you don't need to fill up any kind of you know IP because you guys can look back it's uh, stop as well so let's start it so it's saying that it started please connect by USB now just connect by USB press now okay you guys are done boom so it will show you connected here as well or if you guys are still not connected from the USB then I recommend you guys to install ADB driver okay what I mean by ADB driver is you wanna install ADB driver for your mobile device so which lets uh, Umic to access your microphone on Android so just search your ADB driver for your mobile device so mine is Xperia J um, C6603 and search like that and you will get a top of result okay so you wanna uh, download the ADB driver, okay? Without that, you guys can't use the UMIC on USB. So make sure that, guys, you must install the ADB driver for your Android device to work, to to make your UMIC work on your computer, okay? And also make sure that you wanna check it out. So press on Windows and plus X, okay? And this will bring this box. So you wanna go to Device Manager. Click on that. And check it out that you guys will find a portable device first and also you will get the ADV interface over here so mine has been successfully installed so if it's don't show you guys the ADV interface driver for you then it means that you have uh, not successfully you know installed your ADV driver so make sure that you have um, successfully and uh, correctly install it your ADV driver for your Android device and this will work perfect okay just it should work perfect for you so once you are connected okay so once you are being connected you guys can go to uh, audacity now you guys can record your audio okay from here so let me remove this so let's record this as a umic test hello this is LifeX and we are been testing your umic as the USB microphone so let's stop it so let's try to play this right now and check the sound quality hello this is the LifeX and we are been testing your mic as the USB microphone so as you guys can see that this sounds really uh, you know studio quality microphone as well so umic is really best one of my recommendations for you guys so go ahead and download right now if you had not done okay so um, but the problem is that you will get the piece and bass sound, okay, from the room mic. But I have the uh, solution for that as well. So let me show you the piece and bass right now. Okay, so we are gonna be testing a piece and bass right now. So let's start. Piece and bass. So let's play this sound right now. Okay, so we are gonna be testing a piece and bass right now. So let's start. Piece and bass. So as you guys can see over here, uh, it sounds like you know popping up your air. So this is really annoying and it's really weird and no one and nobody want to hear that, right? So you want to get the read out of that. Then you want to use your you know any kind of cloud, okay? Just a simple piece of cloud and place that over above your Android device, okay? Just place that over your Android and that should work as the pop up filter. So. I'm just using my gloves and I'm just placing it out. Okay, I just placed that on my Android. You guys can't see, I know that because I don't have a you know webcam. 
right now sorry for that so I just placed my gloves on the Android device now we are gonna be uh, using the same test piece and base okay okay so let's start we are gonna be testing a piece and base right now so let's go piece and base so let's test this sound right now we are gonna be testing a piece and base right now so let's go piece and base so you guys can see that there is a uh, you know mass difference between you guys use a pop filter or not okay but you guys can use pop filter as your gloves or you have you can also use the socks okay that's to work on you so I'm not kidding guys so you guys can use you know a little bit of you know, fiber microfiber clothes even it should work as a um, pop filter for you guys so uh, you know you should use that and you guys can even see that this after you're using the you know pop filter your sound wave is really small so you can you guys can also uh, get a rig of them but you guys also want to remove a noise if you guys can then remove the noise from the audacity so uh, the tutorial also will be in my link in description down below but I'll be showing you right now as well so let's delete that part so let me amplify to make this wave a little bit big so just click in the effect and click in amplify and you want to click in the low clipping give it a little bit like you know I think so 9.1 is good so as you guys can see the web is being uh, bigger right now now your sound will be uh, a little bit big okay we are gonna be testing a piece and bass right now so let's go so as you guys can see uh, you guys can amplify you guys can tweak it out you guys can make a really better sound than uh, you if you buy you know the good microphone so I just recommend you guys to not to buy you know a high um, high you know price um, microphone just use the you know what you have you know so once you get a um, money from the YouTube or something else you know. so once you have the uh, good budget then you guys can go ahead and buy some mic so don't waste your money guys so go ahead and use it with mic it's completely free so I think this video really helped you out and if you did give a like you know and comment down below what video should be in the next as well i'll try to do that as well so uh thank you for watching this video be sure to leave a like comment and don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell as well i mean the notification bell so thank you for watching guys so bye for now and peace out see you in the next video